This is just a quick status update on the um, progress of the port for the iPhone 3G. Uh, one of the issues that we have before we can finish the port to the iPhone 3G is the multi-touch screen. And since the iPod Touch, Apple has updated the uh, multi-touch on these devices from Zephyr 1, which is on the original iPhone, to Zephyr 2, which um, is on everything up to and including the iPad. So uh, we needed to reverse this new driver before we can um, use multi-touch. And so basically that's done. Um, this is an iPhone 3G booted up into, um, booted up into open iBoot. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the uh, Apple multi-touch firmware onto the multi-touch controller here and then initialize the driver. So now we can get um, touch data off of the uh, iPhone touch screen. And the reason it's still scrolling because um, this, you know, the speed of the console driver is a little bit slow. So you can see that as I move my finger across this, I can get multi-touch data with each of my uh, fingers represented distinctly. So anyway, uh, what's left to do is to um, update the Linux version of this driver with this uh, new information. And um, after that, we should just have um, the new Wolfson codec to take care of, which should be pretty easy since we have a data sheet. And um, other than that, and just figure out how to call people. Shouldn't be too hard since we can already talk to the baseband. Alright, that's it, so stay tuned.